Welcome back to Near Lucid. Today we'll be kicking off a new series called Switch Overview where we give some specs, sound tests, and our overall opinions on enthusiast switches. This is designed to help you better decide what switch you might want to use in your next board, or just to help expand your keyboard knowledge. So let's take a look. These are Darling switches. They're named after Zero Two from Darling in the Franks and GMK Darling. Um, I don't really watch anime though, so uh. These are Franken switch composed of Kazoo Bubblegum housings and Kale Pro Burgundy stems. Let's talk a little bit about the individual switches themselves, starting with Bubblegums. These are Kazoo's silent linears with a light pink housing and darker pink stem, coming in 52, 62, and 68 gram spring variants. The ones used for the Darlings I have are Gazoo's Korean 68 gram springs. The housings and stems are made out of a custom plastic blend. They're PCB mounted, and of course, Gazoo switches always have tight tolerances and thus don't require films. Boba gums on their own are 60 cents a switch. Kale Pro Burgundies are linears with a burgundy stem and clear RGB shine through housing, and they have a light 50 gram spring. They're plate mounted and do benefit from films. Pro Burgundies on their own are about 28 cents a switch. Pro Burgundies were chosen for their longer than usual stem holes, and Gazoo Boba Gums housings were chosen because, well, it's Gazoo. When you combine their prices, it's 88 cents per darling, sitting a bit above the price of 78 cents per Gateron Inc. Since they're both very deep, we'll be comparing the two. Let's take a listen. I personally love how the Darlings sound, and they can be very slightly deeper than inks in specific board configurations. This is partly due to that very long stem hole. Certainly, most of the interesting characteristics of this Franken switch come from just that. My batch is scratchy, but ones you make on your own or buy won't have the same issue. I'll get to why in a moment. So how exactly do they stack up against inks? The bottom out distance is noticeably shorter because of that super long stem. In terms of stem wobble, there's also a pretty stark difference. In my Jelly Epoch polycarbonate plate, the stem of the ink moves around quite a bit while the Darling stem stays firmly put. The bottom out sound of Darlings is also a bit louder, again thanks to the stem. For a Franken switch, 88 cents is not a bad price, and I definitely think this is a viable option if you want something that's super thocky. I got these from Olaf, and he will be doing a group buy for these. I'll link the Reddit post in the comments and the description. The reason they're scratchy is because Olaf bought individual switch parts bulk from Kazoo. This basically meant that he had to file each individual top housing to allow the stem to fit properly, and the experimental batch that I received didn't have a consistent filing and I seriously respect him for putting in all the effort for this. Olaf will be selling these for $0.85 cents per switch stock and $1.15 per switch lubed. The stock price is slightly under the price it would cost to make yourself, so if you want to try this switch out, I would not hesitate to pick up some for yourself. 
Overall, I think this is a reasonably priced Franken switch that can challenge inks in terms of a Thaki switch for your next build. If you're watching this while it's still on, consider Olaf's post. He's been a friend of mine for quite some time now. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of Near Lucid. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you have feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Also, these videos take lots of work, and by subscribing, you're letting us know that you want us to keep making them. And if you find my voice annoying, you can always unsubscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.